Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhimanyu Uppal and I welcome you all to today's Medical Dialogues Journal Club. We'll be discussing a very interesting study that has been recently published in Jack Cardiovascular Intervention Journal. And the study has proposed a new scoring system that is called as the CHIP score to predict complex PCI outcomes. Complex high-risk and indicated percutaneous coronary interventions that is commonly called as the CHIP PCI is a rapidly growing but still very less defined term. Nonetheless, the concept of CHIP is still uh, in its prenuptial stages because of considerable variability among the operators. Unlike risk assessment for CABG, which is defined on very well established factors, for example, the STS score or the Euro score, there is still no uh, scoring system that has been widely applicable for PCI outcomes. So it is imperative at this stage that we establish a reliable definition of chip that is reproducible, widely applicable as well as acceptable to all the chip operators. In a recent study published in Jack Journal, the Prote et al. have taken serious steps towards achieving these goals by proposing a new scoring system called as the chip score based on both patient as well as procedural characteristics. This score has been found to be significantly associated with the MACE outcomes that is the major adverse cardiovascular as well as cerebrovascular events during in-hospital stay of patients who are undergoing CHIP PCI. An arbitrary cutoff value of 5 based on these CHIP factors has been proposed to define a CHIP case. The authors have studied a large population of 3 lakh patients who underwent PCI in the United Kingdom from 2003 to 2017 to evaluate the baseline patient characteristics and procedural variables associated with increased risk of MACE. A multiple logistic regression equation was then constructed from these variables that included both patient variables as well as procedural characteristics and finally a CHIP score was formulated. The cumulative effect of this score on patient outcomes was then evaluated. The investigators found that following factors constituted the CHIP score. There were seven patient-based factors which were age more than 80 years, female sex, previous stroke, previous history of myocardial infarction, peripheral vascular disease, ejection fraction less than 30% and chronic renal disease. There were six procedural factors that were found associated with MACE events, these were rotational atherectomy, left main PCI, three vessel PCI, dual arterial access, use of left ventricular mechanical circulatory suppose, as well as total lesion length more than 60 mm. As the CHIP score increased, the authors observed that there was an exponential increase in in-hospital MACE events. Furthermore, the authors noted that over the last one decade, there has been a trend towards increase of average CHIP score in the patients. This means that the operators throughout the United Kingdom were performing more and more complex uh, PCI cases. The, this may be due to the use of uh, advanced PCI techniques or the circulatory support that is now available widely. The novel scoring system presented in the current study includes both patient and procedural parameters, which emphasizes that the concept of CHIP is based not only on lesion complexity, but also on the patient's baseline characteristics. For example, a type of lesion type A lesion in a patient with multiple comorbidities may be technically straightforward to treat with PCI. But such a patient still remains at high risk of adverse outcomes if his own characteristics, for example, the presence of poor ejection fraction or chronic renal disease can complicate the MACE outcomes. Therefore, in considering the implications of the current study, the development of tailored pathways for PCI cases, regardless of whether the CHIP score is driven by procedural or patient complexity, might lead to improvements in the clinical outcomes of these high risk cases. An interesting finding is that the use of mechanical circulatory support has the strongest association with MACE. Although the use of mechanical circulatory support is aimed to reduce MACE, we agree that with the investigators that the increased risk noted uh, is mainly due to the fact that LV support is preferentially used in patients with an inherently high risk profile such as multivessel or left main disease and this might account for the poor outcomes in these patients. Another interesting finding is that the chronic total occlusion CTO was not considered a chip factor. Now this is very surprising because CTO PCI is almost now synonymous with cheap PCI but in this study, the authors have shown that this is not the case always. The reason might be a predominance of straightforward low risk CTO PCI cases or a miscategorization of lesion severity. 
Assessing cumulative chip factors and scores might be a future target for risk modifications in the current era. Focusing complex PCI to specific operators or centers, optimizing access site, intravascular imaging or pharmacological interventions may all be needed for patients who are having high chip risk scores. So what this study has given us? This study for the first instance has given us the opportunity to define a chip PCI case that is a score of chip more than five will define a high risk chip PCI case. Secondly, this study has given us both patient factors and procedural factors that are going to adversely affect the patient outcomes in the case of chip PCI interventions. So this study will actually be um, uh, foreground for multiple further studies to come in future that will actually define how the patient characteristics and the procedural characteristics are going to define the outcomes in the case of maze in the case of uh, chip pc thank you never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon